all right real quick i just wanted to go over how i would basically manipulate a scene to how i want it to look for example in this photo his eyes is open and her eye is closed and i want his eyes to be closed so i'm just going to show you how i did that right now so what i would do for this scene say so we already have an eyelash so i might just manipulate this eyelash so it looks closed like hers and maybe in the kind of the same area position here maybe across where his pupil is right here and so let's just do that right now so i'm going to first isolate his eyelash so let's do that with the mac control there let's connect this to the mac control and then we're going to mask up the eyes so let's grab a polygon let's add this to our garbage mat of our, our mac control click our polygon and let's just make a order around the eyelash over here this like that let's try and only get the eyelash there and bam there we go now we look at our mac control it's just the eyelash and what i'm going to do right now is do something called a transform sandwich what it does is it allows me to move this eyelash bigger so i can use it in the right way that i want to and do certain settings with it and then put it back into its place where it is over here and then we can manipulate it however you want so let's add a transform node we have right here we're going to control c and then control shift v to make an instance of this effect over here we're going to go on the instance and then we're going to go to invert transform we're going to right click it and we're going to hit de instance this and then we're going to select invert transform so basically what that does it, it does the opposite settings of what this does so let's say we go to 0.4 over here this is going to be 0.6 over here and it's going to be inverted even though it has the same values it's going to be inverted so let's just show you how it goes right there so let's put a mac control here and then get rid of that on the mask and then put our output to this instance over here and as you can see it is in the same place as over here but the reason why this is important is so now say say we want to like increase the height of this so we can actually have it take the full screen and let's just do that let's just view the transform oh let's put bring it down here bring it up oh not that one let's bring it up zoom it in on it just like this and then we have it go zoom out to where it was and now say if i want to put like effect like say either like a grid warp which is what we're going to do and so we can manipulate it however we want then now when we put it back in place that grid warp is going to be that size of just that area so i can just have a little bit better settings when i use that so let's just grid warp it to however we want let's actually merge it on our background first just like this now we have this and then now we can grid warp this i'm actually going to bring the grid size down so we can just only have a simple space to manipulate the eyelash so cool that should be enough and let's just move this eyelash down with the grid warp just like that even if it's not in the right place let's make it just so it could squish down or look like its eyes closing i'll even let's take this all that and let's move this down to where i want it around there maybe even angle it just like that all right and now we're just going to paint the background of this so let's go over here let's take a paint node paint let's add it to our timeline on the background over here and then let's make sure it's on stroke not multi-stroke multi-stroke that changes it every single frame you want the stroke so it lasts the whole amount of frames that we have over here and let's just you hold down alt and click a color over here it's going to disable that color over here so we can start painting with it over here and so just paint this other background eye out just like this until we have something that is nice so let's just do that if you want to change the size of this, you're going to hit Control and Alt, and then you're going to click and drag this up and down to where we would like. Just have something like this. I want to make it smaller. Just get that little edge right over there. Make it bigger. All right, that looks pretty good to me. And then we go to the bottom. I'm going to sample the other color that's on the bottom over here. Just like that. All right, looking. All right, let's get that. This. All right, now that's looking pretty good to me. I think we're going to erase this part over here real quick. But let's actually take another paint node and put it before the map control right here. And then let's actually view our map control to see where it is. And let's alt click, let's make it a share on stroke. And then let's just clean that pupil over here. Oh, where is it? That's on the clone tool. We want this to be here on the paint tool. There we go. All right, that's looking pretty good. Let's see our final results. All right, so it's a little miscolored. This is where I might go on the outside and take a paint node afterwards and then sample this color over here make sure we're on stroke and just blend this with the other colors that are around here maybe take this color here and then blend that on top of that and try to make some sort of gradient with this and so it looks a little normal or just not too out of the ordinary All right, looking good so now we just need to mask that little part out and i think i'm just gonna do that on the polygon over here and let's just mask this part out with the hair looks good to me let's put that on the merge one and let's invert this all right and there we go there we have that looks a little off still let's go to our brush controls and let's increase the softness and so now it's just taking a little bit of that color and then now we can make a better gradient with that 
Yeah, it looks good to me. Let's play it back. See, it's all good just like this. Looks a little weird with this like that, but if you're just from afar, you're not really gonna see it from a first look. So let's take a look. We have from this to this. Not too bad. A little bit of the process of what I would do in order to match that together. And then you have a cash out just like that. All right, 